Varian Post now integrates with the Duplo DC648 Slitter Cutter Creaser Finisher. The fully automated DC648 Slitter Cutter Creaser is Duplo's newest mid-range solution. With its ability to slit cut crease and perforate digitally printed applications in one pass, the DC648 delivers professionally finished jobs up to 40 sheets per minute. Our advanced fire and post integration simplifies pre-press to post-press setup for high-value jobs that need customized finishing with the DC648. Operators can save up to 80% in setup time by automating job preparation, eliminating manual data entry, and reducing errors with a visual WYSIWYG interface. The Fire and Post integration offers time-saving workflows for jobs with custom layouts. With the seamless integration, an operator receives the artwork file and then either can use existing templates or create custom layouts with finishing instructions for DC648, all within Fire and Post. Fire and Post automatically communicates the finishing instructions in a finisher preset to the Duplo controller software. The operator then selects the finisher preset on the DC648 to finish the printed sheets. As a result, this new capability in Fire and Post accelerates production turnaround time and also eliminates operator touch points and errors. Let's look at how we can create the layout and its finishing requirements for an accordion fold brochure in Fiery Impose. We first select a job in Fiery Command Workstation's job queue and open this job in Fiery Impose. Under Preferences, I can verify that Duplo DC648 is set up as the preferred finisher. Fiery Impose is able to communicate directly with the Duplo PC controller through the network. Let's impose this job with a gang up repeat layout and with auto page rotation selected. To complete the layout in position for our selected DC648 finishing device, open the finisher preset wizard. Any finisher preset that you have already created can be accessed in this dropdown, and the preset can be applied directly to the PDF job. Let's now go through the steps of creating a new finisher preset. The first step is to specify the job number. The job number is what Duplo PC controller uses to identify this layout, and it can also be called up automatically using the barcode printed on the job. Next, apply cross sheet operation and select the horizontal crease up CRM the cross tool module on the finisher for this job. Next, move to the layout tab. Set the sheet size and the finisher feet direction. You have the option to include a barcode. In this example, we are laying out two brochures on one sheet. Enter the finish size for this layout. Specify the number of rows and columns. Let's also add a gutter and offset this layout. Fire Impose is able to provide millimeter and inch conversion on the fly. Even though my system has set inches as the default measurement unit, I can enter the values in millimeter and Fire Impose converts and displays my entry in inches. Notice that this wizard shows the range of acceptable values for each field so that we don't create invalid finishing instructions. And as we define these values, the sheet preview provides the layout update in real time, and the visual feedback can also act as a guide in the setup. The next step is to add the creases for this accordion fold brochure job. The DC648 has a unique ability to finish a job with up to 20 mountains and 20 valley creases, a total of 40 creases in a single pass. This capability provides a productivity boost for finishing multi-up long products. Fire and Post gives the operators the ability to find all these creases in its wizard setup. Under creases, we want to add three creases for this brochure. The first one is a mountain crease, then a valley crease, and finally a mountain crease. 
An important thing to note here is that we are only defining the finishing for one brochure. Fire and Post will automatically apply the same finishing to the second brochure on this layout. Now we're ready to apply this finishing preset to the job and publish it with the preset name. Fire and Post is sending the preset to the Duplo controller software and a final validation is run in its transmission. If we take a look down in the lower right corner in Fire and Post, you will see the information section. This table shows the result of the finisher preset validation. Our preset is good to go since there are no errors. If this is a job we're going to produce again, we can save this layout as a Fiery Impose template and use it with Fiery Automation workflow, such as Job Flow or Hot Folder, for easy print job submission. Let's switch over to Duplo Controller software. Here we can see that the finisher preset is in the queue, and we can preview the job layout as well as the imposed artwork. This concludes the pre-press setup and post-press setup for our accordion fold job. Once this job is printed, we can load the printed sheets in DC648 and let the finisher finish this job using the preset created in Fiery Impose.